Blaring Out show. This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show. And we're here at the premiere for Punk's Not Dead, and it just ended. And I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Sean Stern of Youth Brigade. How you doing, Sean? I'm good. How are you, Eric? I'm excellent. Glad to see you. What did you think of the movie Punk's Not Dead? Actually, I was pleasantly surprised. Could have used a lot less of the so-called new pop punk bands, because I think it's just pop. It has nothing to do with punk. But overall, it was good. It was interesting. It was a good history. Much better than that last movie that came out a few months ago, the American Hardcore movie. I mean, there was some really interesting footage, but I think overall it just didn't capture the whole punk rock ethic. It's Brandon. I know hey, Brandon. Brandon. How you doing? What do you think of the people calling it punk and then the whole clothing and everything being topsy-turvy? You know, that's the same shit that was going on 20, 30 years ago. It's always going to be like that. People are always going to bitch. I was here first. I'm a real punk. You're not. Who fucking cares? It doesn't really matter. All that matters is what's up here in your head and what's here in your heart. You know, it's for me, it's a lifestyle. For some people, it's... Hey, my girlfriend or my boyfriend was doing it. I got into it for a year. I remember punk rock. It was cool back... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Now, what do you think of the book, We've Got the Neutron Bomb? Great book. Okay, I like it too. Tell me about the song, Violence. What inspired that song? <laughs> you know, there was a lot of crazy shit going on in the punk rock scene, which was sort of a microcosm for society in general. It was just a matter of, are we animals? You know, are we violent biologically, or is it something that we learn? Is it inherent in our nature, or is it something that society puts on us? I don't know. It's a question. Violence, does it make any sense? I mean, it exists. It's existed from the beginning of time, of humanity, and it still exists. Why? We're smart enough to get a, a beyond and above it, but yet we haven't. Look at people are dying in Iraq right now. For what? Now, now let me ask you, a pivotal question. If you were president, what would you change about what's going on in the world right now? Well, I would never be president because it's a horrible job to have. But if I had any way of influencing the way the world is right now, I'd uh, first thing I'd do is I'd get, get people out of Iraq. It's just a waste of time and a waste of life and just not going to solve anything. And um, if I had any say in the policies of this country, I'd I'd institute universal health care. It's ridiculous that we don't have that. And I'd spend money that's being spent on weapons and war to educate kids to try and change that. And to try and go out and uh, feed the rest of the world where people are starving and there's just absolutely no reason they should be. Same shit that was happening 20 years ago, still happening now. Don't you think it's more extreme now? Yeah, it's getting worse. And you know, people are always like, I don't understand what's going on now, what's changed. I'll tell you what's changed. The most obvious thing people don't talk about, population. It's just more fucking people. I mean, you can see that just driving around this city. There's just way too many fucking people in the world. And it's gonna, the shit's gonna hit the fan. It already is. Now, how, how have you come to endure the punk scene and just this, this crazy world out here in LA being around for, I mean, you've stuck around. So many guys have died off. <laughs> Just because they don't take care of themselves, you know, but you, you're, you're still going strong. I'm a surfer. Right there. I get up early. I surf. And um, I never use needles. And uh, I'm a social partier. Getting fucked up has never been, like, the main thing, thing of my life. That's just something to have a good time. But punk rock's what it's all about. And, and enjoying yourself and trying to change the world. What, now, as far as music goes, what are you listening to right now? Anything current? I listen to so much stuff. I mean, I listen to the bands that we put out, like the Briefs and the Clorox Girls and Nothing Tin and, and Filthy Thieving Bastard and stuff like that. And, you know, what I hear on the radio. But young bands that were like, we're in this movie, like DK and, and uh, the Diffs, uh, great young bands. And there's just tons of good music out there. Cool. Sean Stern, it's been great talking to you. Jared. Blaring out with Eric Blair show is Sean Stern signing off. Bye bye. Good night.